Right. Hello, world. Uh, let me do one thing real quick. Uh... Wow. I had no swim boards in that. Whoa, we had. Yeah, let's edit that. Yeah. Start refining the uh, the page here. Uh, hello, world. How's it going out there? So tonight, um, what I'm gonna do is a couple of things on my Hugo website. Is that, why is one of those sticking up where it shouldn't be? There we go. Uh, so I'm working on getting better at stream notes here too. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so here's the site as it is. Um, this is the local version, right? The production version is out here where the Fave icon finally updated, and I want to update it again. It took forever. Um, even with changing the paths, even with throwing cache busting at it, like it just it wouldn't update. It's a known thing with Safari; it just does it whenever it wants to. Um, oh, you're not seeing the top. What is going on? Standby. Oh, I know what's going on. That's probably better. Uh, yeah, hopefully this comes through okay. I didn't check this size as much. It should be okay. So, I spent some time uh, working on a stream to determine better sizes for all this stuff, so it should be sharper and easier to see now. Uh, it wasn't awful before, but it should be a little better. Uh, we'll play with this one and see how it goes. But the fonts on websites might be a little small. Um, just doing a little comparison over here right now. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Let's see how it goes. So here's the live site, and then my local site where I've got all my drafts showing up, and it shows you how much work I actually need to do uh, to finish up some drafts. Uh, that's probably this weekend. And so I want to do a couple of things with this. One of them is I just posted on Twitter Oh, so actually, let me see if I can find one. Yeah, so here's an example. So I posted, I read a journal most days and then put it on my site and then posted on Twitter. And as you can see here, there's no uh, image or title or description that's coming along with it in the same way that there is in this Twitch area right here. Uh, and there's these social media cards that you can put in to, to make that happen. Um, so one of the things I want to do tonight is is to get that type of functionality happening on my site. Um, basically, you have to find and put a whole bunch of stuff in your header and then populate the header of the, of the document. Um, so we'll work on that. Uh, also, I love this one. Overheard on a Zoom call, it's Blur's Day because it's Blur's Day. Um, the uh let me do that uh but before i do that the another thing i want to try first is uh like i've got all these archives that just kind of go back and that's fine but like what i'm really looking for now that i want to try is just like just have one page with all the uh all the posts for a year um and 2020, there will be a tremendous number that will be a very long page. I, I don't know if I'm going to like that or not, but I want to make it happen and kind of see how it goes. Um, so I guess another thing I could try is like just upping the number uh, of pages. But now nah, I want to I want to give it a shot to see if we can do it with just having like an entire year um, in there. And then the archive pages would be like, hey, here's 20. 20, here's 2019, he's 2018, whatever. Um, so let's take a look and see if we can figure that out. Uh, so bring up Sublime Text with our Hugo site. I've changed font sizes all over the place. So uh, bear with me here as this, uh, this kind of bounces around a little bit. Um, so I think all this stuff is going to be in the themes. And I was kicking around here a while ago. Well, let's, let me see what index is. So catalog, define main. So let me see 
the source code's looking like here. Uh, here's main, here's catalog. Okay, so I think this is it. And then catalog item. So these are the where it loops over um, all the pages. So define main, partial index introduction. So that's all this stuff. Define div for catalog. There's catalog. And then I'm guessing when we go into render summary, we should see catalog item. Catalog item. Okay. So that's the loop. Now the question is how is it making a determination of how many to do paginator is inside main? Okay, so there's main. So there's all the pagination happening. So something is telling. Let's look at paginator. Where's paginator? Partials? Paginator. Paginator index summary. Something is telling me to change this song. Uh, paginate pages, pages. So I'm guessing, I'm just going to kick around um, and see if I see anything. Uh, I'm all, okay, that's the guy who... Let's see, where is... Head, header menu. Okay, so let's go look at some docs. Oh yeah, the fonts are going to be smaller here, so that's probably a little better. Let's see how that looks. Uh, probably up there. Trick is when I make the fonts bigger, it kind of blows out the UI sometimes. Um, so let's go Hugo pagination. See what that gets us. Pagination, Hugo. Uh, I'm sorry, I want to do one thing just to get Where'd my chat go. Oh, well. I may not see chat if it happens. Is that going to stay there? Yeah, maybe. All right. Real power of Hugo's pagination shines when combined with where? First left after. Pagination can be configured in your site configuration. Defaults 10. Okay, that makes sense. Default page allows you to set a different path to your pagination pages. Setting pagination to positive value will split the list of pages from the home page sections into chunks of that size. Pages will not be created if press time. Okay, I don't totally get that. Pagination path is the is used to adapt the URL. Okay. Uh, is used to build a pager menu. This feature is currently only supported on home page and list pages. Two ways to configure it. Simple as just call paginator pages from a template. It will contain the pages for that page. Select another set of pages when available from the template functions and ordering options. Pass slice paginate. First 50 pages by title. Or Regular page is recursive for a given page. It's one of the options above. Paginator is static and cannot change once created. Okay, so if you call it twice, make sure it's the same. It's either paginator or paginator is called and generate a page. Its result will be cached. Yeah. Function arguments are evaluated. Paginator condition, paginator, paginator, 
put in our page recursive, okay, as an example of what you should not do, okay. Use if else instead to ensure exactly one evaluation. Don't get that. Global base size passionate could be overridden by providing a positive integer as the last argument. For example, if you go five, five pages below. Okay, so that would be, ooh, ha! I think we just found it. All right, first thing to do, I just wanna see this go, right? Range. Oh, this is different. Paginate pages. Five dot pages. I'm going to put a five here. Just experiment a little bit. It's probably going to blow up. Blow up. Uh oh, blew it up good. There we go. Reboot. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, let's try, where's this other one? It's also possible to use group by function in combination with pagination. Range, paginate, pages, group by date, 2006. Let's just see what this does. Right, so I think this is a Hugo comment. I'm gonna try it, Let's see what happens. Okay, yep, took all that stuff out. Put this in, see what happens. Burp. Unexpected end of file. Oh. My pages, let's try this. Render of home failed. Excuse me. Failed to render pages. Render of home failed. Can't execute field render and type of page page group. Okay, so let's back this out and just do a dash. What do we get? We got a dash. Hmm. Debating whether or not this is worth it to do right now. Uh, yeah, no, nah, it's it's not. So let's put this back because I think what we can just do is set the config to be like forty or fifty. Um. Days we're gonna try and normalize music and get beats matching and all that jazz. So let's go to the config. Let's just try this. Whoops. Let's try this. Pagination. Show me site configuration. This isn't bad. Continually making playlists over here to try and make them better. So find me pagination. Paginate. Paginate path. We need to dig through this a little bit more later or some other time. Let's try this. 40. What's that gonna do? Cool. 50. 60. 
That's better. Like, the 10 was just not leaving enough. He had to just move fast, too fast. Like, there's no... I mean, like, we're so used to Twitter, right? So it's just, like, infinite scroll, infinite scroll, infinite scroll. And to have that pagination sitting at 10 is just, like, not doing it for me. Uh, 80. What does 80 look like? That's probably about good. About good? It's probably good. Let's go to 100. I wonder if I could just put... I could probably put every page on there, right? That could explode. Why not working? <laughs> there you go. There's my entire blog site history or site uh, history of my blog. That's uh, that's maybe a little aggressive. Let's let's back that off to 100. Um, but it's just funny to know that you can do that. Hope that updates. There it goes. Saw it. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a good sense of yeah, 60. It is. It's just going off gut feel. It didn't feel like it changed. That's change. That changed. There we go. Cool. Okay, that's better. That's fine. Uh, I still, I don't know. I'll play around with that and see. See if I actually wanted to go back. That may be that may be a decent a number to get to. Uh, so whatever that that was easy. So let's uh, set that into our notes here. Um, start to uh, just adding. See, 18, 20, or 18, 30. So now what we're going to do is um, social cards. So Twitter and Facebook, if I remember right, both have different. Um, ways to show stuff sure um yeah so th these are the twitter cards uh you can have rich photos tweets help drive traffic so buy a few links to your web page and use twitter links to your content will have a card Yeah, the uh, is a player card. It's a little hot. I'm not angry, it's just a little hot. So let's see, different card types have a beautiful consumption experience built for Twitter's web and mobile app clients. Nice. All right. Summary card, title, description, thumb. Prominently featured image. Direct download to a mobile app. Video, audio, media. Yeah, so we don't need a player card. Uh, 
It's either a summary or a summary with large image. So this is, yeah, summary with large image. That's a little aggressive for me. Oops. How did I make that go away? What the hell? Is that gonna work? It's not giving me that link. There it is. Um, summary card. Yep, sure. Uh, designed to give a reader a preview of the content before clicking. Yep. Tuplish is a summary card, photo and text. Below the text of the tweet, but this isn't what I was expecting. Um, I thought it was going to look more like this. I guess, is this. I mean, it's just a link off. What's the difference between a summary card and a summary card with a large image? These look the same. I feel like maybe that's not right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we just gonna throw a whole bunch of stuff in the uh, in the header. It's basically what this amounts to. Summary card can be used for any kind of content. Yep. Preview. Summary card. Put on text below the text of the tweet. Yep. Okay. Cool. System recognizes URLs are included with the tweet. Calls your site to preview them. Yeah. So that's what I was talking about. So. I think I took, yeah, so like, whatever here, alanwsmith.com with my journal link, Twitter goes out and grabs that page and sees if this metadata is sitting in the header. And if so, it builds the card and then embeds it in the in the tweet itself. Um, my pages do not have that right now. So, Twitter, okay, so I think a summary card is from the, yeah, so we just need to throw a whole bunch of this junk in here um, and then figure out how to do it. Be sure to provide your own site attribution and content. Once the tags are live, you can test them on the Twitter card validator. We're gonna want that. The other suggested minimum properties. Yeah, title, description, and image. Card must be set to the value of summary. The Twitter username the card should be attributed to. Yeah, so we want to do that. Title. It's ice title. Truncated to two lines, web well, truncated to one line in timeline and expanded tweet. Okay. Description's not required. Image not required. Alt not required. We're gonna do an image and an alt though. Um that bottom scroll bar doesn't work so great. Alright, so let's just start grabbing code. So Twitter card type summary because yeah, summary card. Okay. Oh, actually, how big is that text? That's kind of tiny on the screen, isn't it? Oh, actually, you know what I should do? Yeah, that's going to suck for me, but all right, let's see what happens. There we go. That should keep it bigger. It'll make it weird though, because stuff is gonna explode all over the place. Whoops, don't do that. All right, so that needs to go down when I scroll up. I'll wait till I get to the top of the page. All right, so let's find the head of our document.
don't know where I'm going. Uh, so there's our config. There's that, there's that, there's that. Let's try header. Nope. Head. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so all we're really gonna do is throw the content, the those meta tags in here. And then we gotta populate them. But that one's easy because that's it. Twitter site. The Twitter username the card should be attributed to. Okay, so that's gonna be at me. I don't remember them doing that before. Probably did, but the so title is required. That's the only other thing that's required. Am I following Twitter Dev? I think I am. I don't think they post much. Yeah, I'm following. So a concise title. It doesn't. <coughs> excuse me. It doesn't give us guidelines for how long the title needs to be. It just said concise. And this is one of those things where uh, oops, uh, truncated to one line in the timeline and expanded tweet. Um, where was this refreshes everywhere? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to play with one and see what happens. Because is the Ed of Allen Twitch, is that the one line of the title and this is the description? Um, Let's look. How about this? Because I think they use a bunch of these. Is the media no? None of these are links. They're all just videos. Oh well, worth a shot. Uh, okay. Let's put that over there for now. Uh, let's put that over here for now. Excuse me. So Twitter title, um, it needs to be concise, whatever that means. But so this is, I mean, that's decent length. Knocking cords around. So I think what we want to do here is figure out where the title See if we can figure out this logic. So site title. So if is home. Makes sense. Print the site title. Otherwise, print the page title with a dot and then the site title. So alanwsmith.com and then if we go to yeah, a page adding. Actually, this is kind of nice out of Safari. This is a new change for them. Uh, yeah, so adding social media, blah, 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 dot Alan W. Smith .com. Yeah, so that's what it's doing. So here's our title. I'm going to put that right there. Um, it's funny for me. So they do. That's one of the things, I wish it was more consistent. They, they close their meta tags, uh, which is not required. I'd go either way, but I, I wish that was one of those that like, they're always closed or always not, but it's an optional thing. See, I need to work on this one a little bit. Uh, oh, that's the one I am working on quite literally. Uh, cool. So nice. So that's, Got our summary and our title and our attribution. Uh, so we can actually test this. Let's see what happens. Um, ba, 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 ba. I just want to see if that's working before we try and add an image and a description. Um, let's do this. Go over here, HD for Hugo Deploy.
Surprise, all the other pages didn't get updated. They are now. Hadn't picked up yet. Hmm. Figured that would have gone by now. Oh, still. Still processing. Hold please. There's the invalidation request. Oh, that first one was the initial sync. Yeah. A whole bunch of stuff changed. I've got to figure out a better way to deal with that cord. All right, let's see if we got a first batch. Whoops. Refresh. OK, so that updated. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's see what our head looks like. Uh, where is it? Here you go. Right here. So now, uh, do we want to go ahead? Uh, we'll try this to start with. So let's see in our card validator here what we get. Well, that's not great. At all. Uh, Twitter card summary found, card loaded successfully. Okay, so it worked. Uh, let me put this in our notes. What if we drop that by, whoa, okay. Uh, give me a second, I want to turn that off. Oh, come on. Nope. Oh, I wonder if you give it itself what happens. Oh, okay, so it's, depending on how much you can see, it's doing its own um, truncation. Uh, so we, okay, so that's that's the basics. Now what we wanna do is add a description and a image. Uh, for the image, let us see. Um, wait, does this work still? Just gonna push that button a couple times. Uh, whatever, it'll be fine. Um, so now we need a description. So here's gonna be the trick with the description is, that means I gotta do work to, to put this up. Um, I'm debating about whether or not I really wanna do this at this point. Um, because in order, in order to do it, I need to come up with some piece of description. Now I could, oh, so the way that I should do it would be to put in a default description. And then from there, uh, have, be able to override it. Wow, I really gotta fix that. Let me make that so you can see it. Hmm. It's more work for me is basically the, the trick with this. Um, Cause I've got to, like when I write my, whatever my do my journals in the morning, I'd, I'd have to fill out a description as well as doing the thing. Um, I want to try it. Eek, boy, you dead. Jeez, shouldn't look at Twitter. Uh, so let's just, do it and see what happens. I'll start with a generic. So where did, uh, whoops, here we go. There's a validator. Here's our, nope, get out of there. So our description just looks like this. What's up with Twitter and Flickr? I thought somebody else owned Flickr. Is that just sitting there for years? Yeah, I can't do anything about that right now. 
Um, So that's going to be the, the description. And now, how do we do a like an override? So we've got, let's pull up a page. I'm going to try this without looking at directions first, just to see, just to poke it a little bit and see what happens. Um, oh, so we've got our stream notes files up, actually, right? Because that's basically the same thing as the title, but I still so that's why I want to have a generic description that can go out, and then this as a um, as an override is the idea. So let's look at the site again. Uh, so if we look at this page. should just have our generic well they all should just have our generic description right now because we didn't do anything with it right so that's that um, and then this would have the same thing right here so now we get to figure out if we can update it so we're gonna use an if statement and so title Like it, it, I kind of don't like the fact that they capitalize things because I think that really is the just this title. Like I'm pretty sure it is, but it's capitalized and that kind of freaks me out. Um, but let's give this a shot. So I'm just gonna write a big old if here. But really, I'm just going to copy all this. Okay, so we don't need the title tags. It doesn't matter about white space. Oh, the, the thing I learned the other day is like these minuses, trunk, like collapse white space uh, on the tags. I don't know if it goes all the way back to there. I'm guessing it does, um, but that's where that's what those dashes were. It took me a little while to figure that out. And we just want to get to our end. So there's our if else statement. The first thing we want to do is put this here and then this here. And so hopefully this so if it has a description we just want to output the description and there's no wait why do these all have dashes but not on the backs that's not part of the if is it I don't think so I don't know what's going on over here, but it's got to stop. Oh, 
for a playlist. I know they're out there. I just don't trust them right now because I got burned on some copyright stuff. So if there's a description, we're going to print a description. I think that'll go. So let's see what happens. Uh, all right, so we're to look at this page. First, we look at this page. Refresh. I think it refreshed. What is it with the these? So there's our basic description. Now, let's see what this did. Why is that all the way up there? Wait a minute. So it worked down here. So Twitter description, caught it. But is it also, it must up, be up there too. Oh, look at this. Oh, is home. Prams description, otherwise, else if description, print description. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I feel like the Twitter description should go up there too, but we'll keep all the Twitter stuff together. Um, let's tab it the same. Sweet, okay, so that's the Twitter description. Now let's do an image. And for the image, I'm gonna keep it in fave icons and do because they're all, all the rest of them are V3. I'm gonna make V4 here before long because I think I'm gonna get rid of the white and just have the at symbol. Uh, so does it give us guidance on image size is the question. Okay, come here. Oh wow, giant. Minimum 144 by 144, maximum of 4096. Image will be cropped to a square on all platforms. Everything's only first time animated, I guess we'll be used, that's fine. Uh, SVG is not supported, okay. You should not use a generic image such as your website, logo, author, photo, or another image that spans multiple pages. See, that's the thing, like, I, I don't know. Well, it's weird because, like, clearly there's to be something there. I wouldn't mind not having it there and you just doing the title and the description, but, like, it's gonna show up like that, that's crappy. Uh, so we're gonna make an uh, image real quick. Uh, where am I going? We're gonna come here. Let's see which version of Photoshop it decides to open. 2020 it looks like. so I can wrap it around a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna do this, actually, and get rid of this. You didn't see that, because it was not like that. Uh, so image, image size. I mean, we can make it as big as up to 4,900, so let's do, I don't know, 2,000 pixels, whatever. Would be plenty. Actually, why not, screw it. Uh, 
that'll do it. Um, did it say anything about transparency? Image should not be generic. Aspect ratio one to one minimum. Those will be crop square. Only first frame. SCG. It doesn't say. Can you use a transparent ping on. The Twitter app in this case ping will be converted to a JPEG. That's not what we're talking about. I'm guessing no. Um, eh, whatever, just put a white background behind it. Uh, new layer. Does that do it? Nope. Did that do it? Yep. I forget what my fun is, but whatever. Oh, ooh, look at that. Uh, it's four thousand seven hundred and seventy-eight point. Why did it just go away? Go zero. I can't figure out what to do with that. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it then. That'll be good enough. Uh, sweet. Okay, so let's save that. This is silly, but whatever. here. Uh-oh. What? What's wrong? I wonder if it's too big. Restart it, see if it... Must have caught it in the middle of the save or something when it wasn't fully there. All right, I'm gonna keep that, keep that, get rid of that, keep that, lose that, keep that, keep that, move that over here, uh, here. Here's our image, and then we just give it a URL. Easy enough. Uh, here. It's in our head. So I think static just goes off the root. Let me find that out real quick. Right. 
Oh yeah. S3 doesn't, I'm not deleting stuff after files go up there. That's funny. Um, so that is really here now. Let me get rid of that white at some point. Not that you can see it there, but. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this in our little green playlist. It's fine. Already there. So fave icons. Slash ridiculous. That should do it. Alright, let's deploy that and see what happens. Should be a faster deploy for the first time through here. Oh, that was the git commit that was happening the first time. That's what had changed. Oh, I should move the commit after the Hugo. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, pretty convinced there's a squirrel in my attic. So let's do this, because we'll build it and then we'll commit it, so that way the content gets committed. Um, I like that better. That was an abrupt end. What's going on? I swear, there's like 500 songs in this playlist, and I swear I've heard this one 30 times. Must fix. All right, let's see if it went. Uh, oh, interesting. I should look at the source here. Yeah, so description. Oh, so there's no description for the site content for the homepage. I should probably fix that. Uh, here's your image. Here's the online home. Right, because there was no description. Oh, there was no description for the home page, right? So it rolls into that. So now if we check something here. Uh, there's a title. Wait a minute, where's the other description? There was another description up there, right? That wasn't just me. Deal with that later. Uh, here's no. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. That's that. Oh. 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 I don't have a. I don't have a title. I got gotcha. you. I need to add a description to this one. Uh, the one that I did on localhost isn't. Uh, is a draft. It's not up there. It's not live. All fragrance today. Mm -hmm. See, this is where it's like. I mean, I guess the description's already in there, but let me see if I can add a custom one just to prove that. Um, no, you know what? No, we're just gonna let it fly. So we've got our default description and then our Twitter image. So if we take this URL and we go here, Oh, I wonder if it's cached. Crap. I want to try this on a 
different URL, which I can just do because we're not worried about the descriptions. So you come here, you get back here. Close that. Uh, yeah, whatever. This one, it's fine. There we go. And then again, it'll be, I've got all the fonts jacked up. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. I actually really like that. Um, and now I kind of don't even want to worry about putting in a description. And that's like, so like on uh, Twitch, where am I going? Uh, I'm going to Twitter to look at Twitch. See, Twitch just does the same thing every time too. It actually keeps the same uh, title, but the description's the same all the time too. Uh, that link, I need to see, because does that link? Yeah, should link. Oh yeah, it links, of course it does. That's the whole point of the thing. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. That looks sharp. Uh, I'm going to actually rip out the description and just let it ride because that way I don't have to deal with it. Where am I going? Here? No, here. So I can just drop all this if stuff. Also, I'm going to edit it just a little bit. Some words, some code. Some photography, whatever, it's fine. Cool, okay, that's that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty slick. I'm trying to think if there's anything else with the Twitter part. I don't think there is. Uh, I'm just going to deploy again just to look at one more title or just to, I want to see the updated language that I used. It should be fine because it's less, less letters, but I just want to verify that uh, as we do this. What's the homepage will do? There wasn't a description. It should just throw the same description out. Uh, make sure it's updated first. Just I don't want to. I think that validator may cache. So I want to make sure I'm ready to call it when I'm calling it. Yeah, the all in home. Uh, it hasn't updated yet. How about now? There you go. Some code, some things. Image, go into image. Cool. Uh, let's try this. Let's see what this gets us. Sweet. I like that a lot. Oh, it's still updating. But where did it get? Oh yes, yeah, just using the title and the title of the page is Alan W. Smith. Um, which I don't know, it's fine. Uh, cool, 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 cool. I like that. Dang it. Uh, cool. So now we do the Facebook one. Yay, Facebook. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Uh, 
Oh, I should put a little stand to raise that up so it's easier to hit. Oops. Graph markup, yeah, here we go. Um, for example, here's an article. You store your blog post with article, several additional properties. URL, types, article, title, description, image. Uh, let's see what else we got. Title, description, image, app ID, we'll have that. We also want two additional tags to improve distribution. Locale, US, that's fine. Type of media content, tag impact. Impacts how it shows up on Facebook's feed. Don't specify it all its website. That's yeah, gonna be a website, that's fine. Cool. So now we just do the same thing. That worked? No, it did not. Closed it. Oh, let me get rid of that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Mm, we're gonna keep that one. So we're gonna put that one. We're gonna juggle. Cause I want this one to go here, just to have the text. That's what I tested my video stuff with the other day, or a couple hours ago. Still hitting the cord. this, cut this, close that. Now I can close that, don't save. Uh, one, oh wow, it's an hour. Oh, I should have put in Another link. Uh, how many tabs can I go back? Oh, that's cool. That's the one I needed. Uh, all right, we're gonna juggle for a second. So we're gonna go. We're gonna put this here. I want to grab this link for here. Cause that's the other link that we used. This link for here. And grab all this junk. Open our Hugo site. Themes. Layouts. Partials. Head. Yup. Here we go. Whoops. Oh, we actually have to give it the URL to hit. Okay, so that's a little different. Um, what if it's the content that people share to Facebook or other, whether it's shared from the desktop or mobile web or mobile app? The way that I host my website through S3 and CloudFront uh, does GZIP. I would guess it does. But I don't know. That's the wrong page. does but I just want to verify um, without these open graph Facebook crawler does best guessing mm. 
markup example. Let's see the image. Share some Facebook. I see below for more info and best practice guys learn how to specify heart high image preview. Okay, we'll open those. But we got to get the canonical URL of the page. And but what that means is without any like tracking junk or user tracking junk in it, it just needs to be the, the canonical version of the page. Okay, so now I just need to figure out how to get the URL of the page. Uh, I'm gonna clear all this real quick, except for that because that's the right thing. Oh, we can actually do the parts that we know. What I should probably do is move description to It's gonna be funny if that image is too big. Uh, yeah, I should probably move description to a variable at some point, but right now I'm just getting the thing going. That was a description, right? Yep. Title will be title. Oops. Article URL. Okay, so now we got to figure out the URL. It's kind of nice. Uh, I'm just looking to see if we see the URL up here anywhere. Where is our paginator? What if we do this? And just put URL right here. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's go into one. Sure. URL is just the from the document root. Let's see what the homepage has. Should just be a slash. Yeah, slash. Okay. So we can just do this. Like that. Wait, there's a there's already a slash there, so we need to take that slash out. Is that a good update? Yeah, look at that. So we should have, yep, alanwsmith.com here. And then if we go into this one, whatever. We should have. What am I looking? Right here. Whoops. Oh, what's going on there? There you go. AlanWSmith.com slash journal, blah, 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 blah. All right, so there's a URL. Articles there. Titles working. Descriptions in. Now I just got to figure out the image. These images release 1080. Okay, minimum 600, we recommend one by ones. Good, we're doing the square. Free cache your image by running URL through URL sharing debugger tool. How's this? Oh yeah, this, this is good. This is the tool that we're gonna to use to look at, I think. See information on common face from some places. The batch and validator lets you refresh this information multiple years at a time. Access type environment, shared debugger. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool, whatever. Uh, what's Webmaster? Oh, verify business, okay. I don't know why that opened that. Doesn't give us. Doesn't give us a max. We'll just throw the Twitter image at it again. I'm gonna actually, yeah, we'll just throw the Twitter image at it. Uh, except we're gonna call it Facebook. Here. 
Simon that they're trying to rip off here. Or quote, or pay homage to. So there's the image, there's the description, title's in, that's in, that's in. All right, let's deploy and see what happens. actually put that in. open grass tags use those to specify dimensions so it can render the image immediately without having to asynchronously download and process it I don't think that means I mean surely they wouldn't just serve it off of my site maybe they would I don't know let's leave it is as, as is URLs deprecated and removed. Uh -oh. Must not have liked what we just put in there. I wonder if you can hear me drinking. I'll have to look at that at some point. Got hit. Decided to my cord. I will get a longer cord. It will be ordered tonight. Time. That's localhost. There we go. Uh, cool. So now let's look at a link or a page, whatever. Just make sure yep, this title's showing up, descriptions are thing. There's your image, there's your article, there's our URL. Sweet. Let's see what happens if we put this in here.
Your all hasn't been shared on Facebook before. Fetch new information. That's not bad. Uh, it's too bad that it misses a little bit, but... I could just do online home of Alan W. Smith. You still wouldn't get all that. Well, I may play around with that. Uh, I'll look at that. Canonical URL. What is this saying? Missing property. Following required properties are missing. Facebook app ID. I don't have an app ID. Facebook ID, yeah, fixes. Or show up on their website, you need to fly and create a Facebook app. I don't want to create a Facebook app. Make sure your Facebook app is live. He's just, let's see, you know, yeah, whatever. It Facebook's going to pull it down and display the stuff. I may play around with getting a specific image for it because uh, it was saying you do a square image, but like that's not a square image. Um, which I kind of didn't think it was going to be. So um, that's not awful. Like that's fine. Uh, sweet. So that's there. Uh, got those links. Got that link. That's live. Uh, oh, I didn't. I turned that off, didn't I? Should have that on so you can see it. Or possibly read it, maybe. Uh, cool. I think that's that. What else do I have on the plate? See if there's anything else we can do real quick. Um, excuse me. Probably shouldn't drink Sprite on the stream. Let's see how bad that is. Got where's it going? I'm tired. I should stop now. But All right, what I can do is I can mute this for one second. And wrap that wire so I'm not going to keep hitting it. Uh, that's what that is. Put all entries on your page. Oh yeah, we did that, didn't we? Yep, okay, we did that. Did the logos, did the descriptions, did that. Oh, update Adam feed to have full posts, yeah. Um, so in my newsreader, where I put my thing, Alan's website. Why is that going to 29? Oh, maybe it doesn't have it. I th saw this the other day and I thought, hang on a second, get it rid of that. Uh, nope, nope. He's already subscribed. Okay, so it is here somewhere. Oh, there you go. 
Oh, it's got, wow, it's got, holy cow. It's got my full history in there. Uh, but, yeah, it, um, it truncates. I'm more interested in people, if people want my stuff, I, I would like them to get and read it however they would like. If they want to come to the site, cool. If they want to get it through RSS, cool. Like, I, I read a bunch of stuff through RSS. Like, there's all the subscriptions that I have. And I would prefer, like, if somebody's subscribed to the RSS feed, have it. Like, use it. I actually didn't, I, well, one, I didn't realize, I'm just going to hit the mic. Um... I didn't actually realize Hugo had this out of the box or if the theme had it out of the box. Um, so that was a very nice surprise. Um, what I would like to make it do a full, uh, the full page. Um, and so I'm actually not sure where, and again, I'm just gonna kick around a little bit uh, and see if there's anything that looks like uh, an atom feed happening in here. What is that? Parcels. Resources. No. Static. No. Eh, that's not bad. So I guess not. So where is Hugo Adam feed RSS? Because maybe RSS. Who knows? But Hugo and RSS. RSS. Hugo ships with its own RSS two template, or you can create your own RSS template. See template lookup order. I have all the page variables, sections, RSS. Oh, okay, you can make individual sections, that's cool. The table below shows the RSS template lookup order for the different page kinds. I didn't see... Um... How do you find uh, how do you find fuzzy or regular expression type stuff, close, whatever CLI I find. Try five simple examples of Linux find command. That sounds handy. Oops. Yep, find, find print name so you just do wildcards okay so now let's get the syntax back find dot name star rss star down boom uh, these are just files that have rss names in them i don't so the rss template must be embedded
default hero create an unlimited number of RSS entries. Yep, that's cool. Find values will also be included in RSS icon specified. Copyright, yeah, author, right. This is a default template that you you got ships with. Aha. Reference your RSS feed and head. SS link, you can create the formats. Oh, so there's multiple formats. Okay. Okay, that generates the link. See also sitemap. So we need to we need to make a new file. We need to make a new template. Uh come here grab all this stuff. Ooh, I have no idea what that is. So first thing, first thing, yeah, embedded templates. Okay, right, so it's not anywhere that we can see it. So the first thing is let's figure out where to put it. RSS home, layouts, index, RSS, XML. That this layouts. Probably, right? I mean, that's got to be off the site route, so. New file. All that jazz. Save that. Index RSS XML. Index RSS XML. His home site. I think it's an assignment to dot if it's like, okay, I'm just, this should be what's working, so we'll see if it works. Um, let's see if we can look at the RSS file, which won't open properly in Safari because it keeps trying to throw it to news. Chrome browser into the mix here. Hey, my site's now bouncing to this site, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Index XML. Well, there you go. You format it for me. I guess it just always puts it at index.xml, which is fine. I just, all those things are kind of crazy. Yeah, here we go. Section, so yeah, it goes to the index of HTML at the root. So it's pulling a description that's just basically either the first paragraph or the first, yeah, it looks like it's always the per first paragraph. I don't know if it ever gets clipped. Oh, it looks like sometimes maybe it's more, who knows. So how do we put in a full body text? Somebody's 
probably already done it. Yep. Uh, just you just finished your question, or he's probably figured out. Link is it a fault? There's that template. Are there any site parameters checked to choose between summary and content? Set the value of that parameter, otherwise you'll have to adapt the template to your own needs. It's all from our human docs, yep. It's from 2017, but we'll see what happens. In the template adding content encoded below. So I'm trying to get the content to render without getting caught up with the encoded expression. Yeah, C data, we don't want that. Uh, to inside. Yep, sorry man, I'm the last year, you could someone mine everything. Source code, use debug. Should probably replace the right name. Okay, so I'm just gonna try description generator, managing editor, webmaster, last build date, items, descriptions, content, HTML, but that seems wrong. Uh, Whatever, daring fireball, sure. These are full feeds, right? Yeah, okay, so, whoops. What is, copy feed URL, Chrome. Yeah, see, I don't wanna just drop it in description. Um, we want to put it in this content type HTML and then you can put it in C data. Okay. I like that. HTML content. I don't know where the base URL is. I mean, I know what the base URL is, but, um, I'm just looking through all the various things that are in here. Alternate link, but it's going to Vox. Um, which I guess somewhere in here he's talking about Vox, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what all this stuff is. But the big thing to do is this content. So we're gonna try this. So I'm actually, I think I'm okay with as long as I put it in C data, what is safe HTML? Whoops, I don't know what I just did. Yeah, I don't want that. You go safe HTML. Safe HTML from Hugo. Declares a provided string a safe HTML document to avoid escaping by Google templates. Oh, okay. So that just fires it all back out there. Yeah, so we can put it in C data and then call save HTML. Um, we're gonna get rid of the description. I'm just gonna base this off of this. What am I doing? And then we're going to go C data. I forget which that, what that stands for. I forget how to close it. It's just this noise, right? So basically, what that is is a chunk of code that you can wrap around HTML. And all that, the, the expectation is this pattern and then this pattern won't actually happen in HTML. 
So you're safe to drop a, a bundle in there of, well, I forget what C data actually stands for. Um, but that's, that's how you transmit HTML inside XML because um, RSS feeds and Atom feeds are XML. So where's the safe HTML? This is what we want. So we don't want it to be escaped. All right, let's see what that does. Uh, we're gonna have to go to Chrome, localhost, different port. Oops, why did that work? There we go, probably that. So index XML. only put one thing in there did only put one thing in there oh uh, that's weird Oh, this is the translated stuff. Where's the raw? That's what I'm looking for. It was showing me the generated DOM or whatever it's called. There we go. Air at line 36. 36. Shouldn't that be in C data though? Oh, it's doing, it's not doing C data. Uh, so. Okay, how do we, well, what just happens if we do this? No, uh, this is, that's not gonna work either. Broken the same place. these people talking about so I'll start to reply same issue try with two grants Talking about a different thing. Limiting generation is not what I want. How to customize feeds, not what I want. Summary to content and line 35. We got the following errors. Yeah, so it's going to explode. All right, we're getting. So this is just an invalid. I mean, like the data is coming in. Here's all the stuff. It just, it's hitting a encoding that's happening. And so how do we tell it? So we need to pass C data, but we need C data to be there. Um, I'm just doing things at this point. 
line three, but did our C data stay? Nope. Yeah, so we need that to not be a less than. So what if we do this? Also, I want to do something just so we can make sure that we are actually getting updates. Here on load post, right? Right. Cool. That was it. Content IG. Why can't I see the source? Oh, it's loading. There we go. Yeah, so there's all the dashes. Here's C data coming in properly. Sweet. I'm going to wrap that too. Oops. Uh, and let me take those out now. They serve their purpose to let us see that stuff was updating. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's fine. Let's do this. Refresh. Try BB edit, but it's not a save, so I'm probably to down or I've downloaded Sublime Text 2 again. We'll use it. There it goes. It processed or it uh, loaded. So now what I want to do is maybe drop back the number of hosts that are in there so we can close it. Uh, undo. Try something with volume here and now if I have trouble customizing that I said that here's brief what I did. Let me see if I can answer this. Not right now, but so limiting else default. Who are you? Cool, let's do it. Uh, and pen, oops, mouse. That's a good little logo, or uh, avatar, whatever you call it. Um, people, that's what I call when I find people. Back up. Into Hugo. Generate a lot of content, security privacy seasons, only one RSS feed, create for my blog posts, not for their content. Yep. Uh, I need to go back and read this at some point. I'm fine with all this stuff. Limit the feed generation, only site content, only content sections, that's fine. Stable RSS and unwanted content sections. I'm not worried about that. Create a custom layout. Finally, just to be safe, I created a layout that limits the generation RSS file to protect to post sections. Also allow the generation of RSS for categories and tags. RSS limiting is handled via the first line of code if the sections equals post or categories or tags, then do this. Otherwise, don't. Let's see if he did. Yeah, content HTML. There's description. Like it's one of those like the RSS stuff and the Adam stuff is kind of all over the place, but it's like it's, as long as it goes and shows up, it's all good. Um, and maybe description is where you should do it. I'll I'll go back and kind of really dig into that, but. Um, I was looking at the, the Daring Fireball stuff is probably pretty accurate. Uh, start the site to use the new custom one. That's cool, right? Bonus, all right, it's limited. There we go. Uh, 
He sounds good. Twenty-four, whatever. Uh, language and copyright notice. I'm fine with all that. I want to set the author. Thought author was already coming through. Thought I saw it. Title. Update content. No, it's not. Is that in an if? Update. Get the order. Let's not put my email in there. With site author email author. I don't know what this with syntax is. Is so, that like, if it exists, use it? If not, don't. I'm not worried about looking that up right now. Um, it's XML so I can copy this out. Do this. Whatever. This, 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 this. This, 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 because all I really need to do is this. I won't need to put that in the config. Good, but like, this will be alright. I should probably put it in the config. Uh, okay, it'll be fine. What else is in here? Anything? Cool. Uh, uh, let's go on RSS feed, check this out. Speaking of RSS. Sweet. Making web content edible in the browser. Interesting. Look at that. Cool. Oh, this music is just odd. I think that'll do it. Let me see. So let's deploy this. Let me just scan it one more time real quick. that for a second. Uh, yay, yeah, see data. Localize, so I'll bounce. Oh, wait a minute, this isn't doing drafts, is it? Oh, maybe it is because I'm on the draft server. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's if it is, that's fine. As long as it's not doing it for real. Uh, I don't know where my site is. There it is. Uh, no. Okay. Because you can see a bunch of other stuff there. And cool. So, what was that? Yeah, it's tiny fonts. Sorry about that. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Safari, let's close a few tabs. Ah, whatever, leave them open. This should all be cool. Let's deploy and see what happens. Excuse me. We should tell you where that was. I can't remember which pages we updated. I can go watch the feed. So let's come here. Let's delete this.
Did I ask a question? I did. Page content. This is not, I don't think, what I wanted. Colon slash page row. What? Look at that. I actually figured out the way how to do that. I was just, I still want to know the a better answer. Uh, all right, we're deploying, we're deploying, we're deploying, we're deploying. How are we looking? Oh, I can't look it up there because they won't let you, which is really annoying, Apple. No, oh, already open. It's over there. Yeah, so there's our C data. Uh, there's our author. There should only be 20 of them. That seems about right. So grab that. Net newswire. This, that. Actually, I want to do it just off the root and make sure it finds it. It did. It had it cached. Uh oh. Maybe we should use description. We're gonna go back and use description. Good thing I didn't close all those tabs. Because they just did it. I don't know with that one. Did I close all those tabs? Soon. This one. Description summary content encoded. Wait, why didn't mine work then? I didn't have the encoded, but. I gave it a pass type of HTML. Oh crap, I wonder if it's because it's C data. I closed that daring fireball link, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Wait until it's done. Is that where it was? No, he's in C data. Content, that's an entity, right? Uh oh, I'm in items, not entities. Oh, I'm in Adam, not, I think this is RS. No, that's Adam too. Who knows? Whatever, I'm just going to fall back to that default. Where was that? I think it's in my notes. Is this it? That's it. Got. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done that switch. I should have just used what was there um, to start with, then seen if it worked. That's. I and every developer I know do that sometimes. Oh, I'll just change this while I'm moving it before it actually works. Never a good idea. 
where was the other place that we just did? It was pagination. In the layouts. I'm looking for the head. Where did that go? So I'll bet. No, just use the title. It's in the URL. I'm trying to figure out where we put that page in that freaked it out. Should not worry about that right now. New York description. All right. It's in there. Nope. See, but I don't know if this is cache stuff is the problem. There we go. It might have already been working and just it was freaked out because of the cache, but this is working. So, and this is the RSS reader that I use. So hopefully it works for everybody else. And somebody will text me if it doesn't. Uh, for the I mean. Oh yeah, that's right. That looks good. Uh, whoops. Videos are coming through. Okay, cool. That was what I was looking for. Uh, that's what I wanted to know. Sweet. Okay, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else. So we'll just shut them down. Uh, I'll actually make some of these show notes at some point and send them live. I think I've got that link in there. I will make sure I've got all the links in there before I close all this stuff down. Uh, all right. Thanks, folks. Hope you had a good one. Uh, take care and be kind. See you.